And joining us now is papal expert and author Steve Ray. Steve was actually a Protestant for 39 years. 39 years who had strong negative feelings about the Pope and the Church, but then converted to Catholicism. So we have to find out why. Welcome, Steve. Uh, what Thank inspired you. your conversion after 39 years? You know, you hear people who say, well, I grew up uh, in one religion, but when I was 20, I decided to become something else. But 39 years. 39 years is a, is a long time in my life, and I was raised to be anti-Catholic. That was part of our tradition. And uh, it was an amazing thing that as I uh, grew, and my wife and I began to think more about this, and we saw John Paul II. He had a big impact on us. But I began to read and study the early church, and I began to study the Bible more than I had before. Now, was that, I excuse was me, looking, for, well, I just wanted yes. to, to find out, you said you saw John Paul. So you, you saw him in person? We've, I've met him twice. I've seen him ten times in Rome, but we have the great privilege of meeting him twice after we became Catholics. But seeing him on the news and his, the way he conducted himself in the world and his faith in Jesus Christ, it had a big impact on us. Um, it was hard to be opposed to the Catholic Church and hard to be against the Pope when there was such a magnificent man there filling the office. So it was and, really the Pope who inspired your conversion? That was part of it, yes. And another part of the aspect of our conversion was I saw many of the weaknesses in my own tradition. And one of them was is that there's an inability of, of any one leader in Protestantism to define doctrine, to say what is moral and what isn't moral, uh, a, a voice, a teacher. And it was a distress to my wife and I as we struggled to decide which Protestant group we should belong to. And then I saw that the Catholic Church for 2,000 years had this beautiful beautiful continuity all the way back to the apostles. It was like a chain with no links missing. Mm -hmm. This beautiful long golden chain that went all the way back from John Paul II to the very first century to the apostles and Jesus. And I had written a family history of my own family and realized how important a genealogy was. And I realized that part of the family of God, I had another genealogy. I was part of the church, part of God's family. And my wife and I decided to understand and do research on our spiritual genealogy and as we did we found out that what the Catholic Church is today and what she teaches today was consistent and in complete continuity with the very first centuries of the church and out of intellectual and spiritual honesty we both had to become Catholics and this was certainly a Pope who was very clear in his message and very unwavering uh, it's interesting that you're American and yet we have seen a lot of Americans become cafeteria Catholics you know taking yes. cherry picking what they like from right. the church and and a lot right. of Catholics unfortunately especially in the wake of the uh, sexual abuse scandals falling away from the Catholic Church uh, give us your reaction to that well I was asked when I became a Catholic if I was going to be a, ca a cafeteria Catholic and I said heavens no I fought way too hard to get here mm -hmm. to now start questioning to be a protester in the church I was a Protestant before and the word Protestant comes from protest uh, it started when they broke away from the Catholic Church and I was in protest against the Catholic Church and now that I had converted and come into this wonderful family I wasn't going to become a protester here I believed in the Catholic Church and in the teaching of the church and some people said well you know that the church's teachings on morals and sexuality and so on don't you think it's a little old-fashioned but the reality was it was the church's teaching and her willingness to stand strong on these issues even when many of my, from my tradition prior to this these many traditions are, are capitulating on the moral issues it was wonderful for me to find the Catholic Church that for 2,000 years unwavering like a ship who, even though it's tossed by the waves continues on its course it's not a democracy it's the kingdom of God and it was wonderful for me to find that and in reality there are thousands of Americans right now converting to the Catholic Church for those very reasons because she does have a clear moral voice and she's unwavering in that voice well you have an inspiring story Steve Ray thank you so much for joining us you're welcome it's my honor